Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going over something for Premiere Pro in that we're going to be learning how to import Mogurt files very easily just using a few lines of code. So today's script is going to import a Mogurt into your timeline. As you can see, I have this nice simple animation with lines and this is going to import any file you give it. So if you wanted to, you could loop through and import a whole bunch of Mogurts and add them to different layers and times and create a cool custom look. So this tutorial is just gonna be mostly going over the code because it's not really needed to be rewritten. Um, it just needs to be explained. So essentially what I have in my documents is a test.mogurt file. Normally you'd have to bring these into the program by adding them to essential graphics or something like that. But with this script, we can do it programmatically. So essentially what I have is a function called Mogurt import. You can use this for anything you want. Um, essentially, I just have a file object that needs to be brought in. And this is equal to that file in my documents called test.mogurt. So I just create a file object that references that location documents.testmogurt, and I bring that in as a file. Then inside our main mogurt import function, I have a variable called project, which just references our project we have open. And then we also need to make sure we have a sequence open or active, just like in After Effects when we have an active comp open. We're assuming there's a sequence open. If not, you could uh, basically tell the user, please select a sequence first, and then we'll move on. After we have the sequence set up, in this case, we have sequence one as our test sequence. What we're gonna do is create a time object by getting the current player position. So we're just gonna say, go into our sequence premiere and check where the player position is. This guy right here, the current time indicator. Where is that time at? And store that in the time variable. And then the last bit of code we have is sequence.importmogurt. This is actually built into the object model viewer. If you head on over into the browser here and go down to Adobe Premiere. You can go down into the sequence object. You can find the method called import mogurt or import mogurt from library. And this will allow you to uh, have the information for that. So the first thing it needs is the path. And I just basically reference the path of my file object using the FS name. And then I have the second argument, which needs to be a time object. We got this by asking where the current time indicator was. And then the third argument we need is going to be the video track index. And then the last one is the audio track index. So let's say we put zero, zero for both of these. In our case, of course, we don't have audio, so it's not as necessary. But you can see if we put in zero, that puts it in the first video track. And if I use two, it's going to put in the third video track. So you can use these indices and a bunch of other variables to control where your mogurts are going. And then um, you can have full control over where the audio is, where the video is, what time they start, and which mogurt you're actually importing. And that's going to do it for this week's quick tip tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This code will be available for free in the description uh, via Pastebin, not GitHub. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. And of course, hit subscribe to be notified when new videos come out every Monday and Thursday. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.